Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be reviewing the Yashica B TLR. So uh, this TLR was produced in the year 1957 for my copy at least. It has four shutter speeds which is 1 over 300, 1 over 100th, 1 over 50th and 1 over 25th of a second. It also has a B setting or a bulb setting so you can shoot long exposures with that. I've only used the bulb setting for a couple of times where I needed to have more light in my shot. So the apertures range from f3.5 all the way to f22. And I'm not sure if, you, if the camera can pick it up but the lens here is an 80mm focal length on medium format so that translates to probably around 45 to 50 in uh, full frame terms or 35mm film format. Uh, the camera has a flash socket here, never used it before. It has a cold shoe on the side, it has a focusing knob here so when you turn this focusing lever you can see the lenses stick out or retract back into the camera um, depending on how you turn it this is the film advanced lever so every time you want to advance a film all you gotta do is just press this button here and just wind this knob until the counter advances to the to the next frame so as you can see here I've got no film loaded inside so it says it shows here an S I'm not sure if you guys can see it yeah an S so the way to shoot a TLR is by looking through this huge beautiful viewfinder here you can adjust the focus and you know basically what what you see is what you get with very minor parallax correction due to the fact that uh, a TLR takes a photo with this lens and what you're seeing through the viewfinder is through this lens so this is the taking lens and this is the viewing lens all right so to nail super sharp focus, all you gotta do is just pop up this uh, magnifier. My iPhone is unfortunately not advanced enough to uh, kind of focus in. And well, to nail focus, all you gotta do is just look through this magnifier and basically you can just adjust the focus until you think that the photo is very sharp. I use it all the time. The viewfinder also has a sport mode. So you can see that there's a small square here and when I push down on the on this front thing here, it basically exposes a huge another huge square. So people who are very familiar with TLRs during the old days, whenever they want to shoot fast moving subjects, they'll just use this uh, sports finder to uh, to shoot kind of stuff and uh, once you're done just shut it down and basically that's how the camera operates so to load some film into the TLR all you gotta do is just well you can see here that there's uh, an indicator for open and close all you gotta do is just Turn the knob to open or the red O here and the camera will open here. So to load new film, it takes 120 film only by the way. All you gotta do is just take this pool out of the bottom here and you put it on the top one here. It's gonna be a little bit of a struggle since I'm doing it behind the camera. Alright, 
So I finally got uh, the spool up there. All right. So what you got, what you do is insert a fresh roll of um, 120 film down here. Pull the paper or the film and insert it into the small insets here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And wind it until you see the arrow on the film. I guess you can find how to load film on the TLR videos on YouTube and they will explain it um, in a much better way but I don't have film to burn so and I'm not planning to shoot anytime soon since we're in uh, we're in the middle of a movement control order so I don't plan to shoot film anytime soon anyway um, once you see the arrow on the film align with this red arrows here close the back like so turn the knob back to close all right so basically after you have you know close the back all you got to do is advance the advance knob film advance knob until the you know the film counter shows a number one I'm not sure if this is gonna work because I don't have film in it so you know until it turns to one and then you're basically ready to shoot all right so even without film the camera will advance to the next frame because of the spool inside the film advanced crank all right so the way to take a photo using this camera is pretty easy. All you gotta do is set your shutter speed, set your aperture, and then you have to cock the shutter. All right. So once the shutter is cocked and you have set your shutter speed and your aperture, you can take the photo. That's how you do it. So one thing good I think about this camera is that you can make multiple exposures on a single frame due to the fact that it does not have double exposure lock. You can also use the timer here. Mine works in perfect condition and I have used it when I don't want my camera to shake and I don't have a tripod. So that's all for the Yashica B. I will include a link to my detailed written review on my website photographic.com so feel free to check out the link in the description below and if you like what you saw in this video subscribe to my channel leave a like and you know share this with your friends you can also support me through buy me a coffee I really hope that I can make more film photography related videos like this I'll see you guys in the next video.